What's up, everybody? Ben here with Fly Plugins. And today I am super excited because we are releasing a really cool feature. Uh, as you know, recently we, um, we hosted a survey. And in that survey, one of the questions was, if you could have any one feature in WP Coursework, what would it be? And we had an overwhelming response uh, from our um, from our customers, our, our um, Fly Plugins family, and one of the uh, most popular requests was to have a multiple choice, multiple answer quiz question type. And yep, today is the day. I'm super excited to announce we are going to be releasing multiple choice, multiple answer quiz type questions. Uh, later on this afternoon and so uh, as I record this video this tutorial video uh, I am gonna go ahead and just run through and show you exactly how it works uh, and once I post this to our blog uh, the actual update will be live so very cool stuff happening so I just want to walk you through this really quick it's a, it's it's nothing earth-shattering as far as setup it's super easy to use um, in fact uh, what we did is we actually took our current multiple choice uh, quiz question type and we just kind of converted it um, now it'll work uh, both ways as either multiple answer or a single answer uh, it just depends on how you configure it so I've already got a course set up um, and so what I want to do is just dive in and let's go ahead and create a quiz uh, let's see here Let's go my first quiz. Uh, let's go. How about we just call it pop quiz? Okay. And we can just do a non-blocking for now. Okay. So now we've got our quiz set up. And let's cruise over to manage questions. And what we're going to do is just add a multiple choice question. Okay. So now you're going to notice uh, the only thing that has changed uh, from the user interface is actually on each answer, each option for answer, now you have a checkbox, whereas before you just had a radio button where you had to select one single answer. And so now you've got the option to select multiple answers. Um, so we can type in any question here. Now we've got our questions. Uh, I'm sorry. Now we've got our question, and we've got multiple answers. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the correct answers for this question. And then what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just pop in another multiple choice question, and I will say. Okay, and so I'm just going to select single answer for this particular question. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and save our questions. Okay, so now I've got our quiz created, and I'm going to cruise over to our course ordering, and I'm going to place our pop quiz into our course. And now I'm going to go ahead and head over to our pop quiz. Okay, so now you can see that I've got two questions, both multiple choice questions. Uh, and in the first question, we have uh, multiple correct answers that are possible. So if I go ahead and answer these, we can select multiple correct answers uh, by clicking the checkbox. And in the second question, uh, you'll notice we have radio buttons. And that was because I only selected a single answer. So I'm going to go ahead and just submit this, and looks like we passed our quiz, which is cool. Okay, now um, just just to give you a quick uh, heads up, this also works with surveys. So you'll notice in my next uh, course unit, I have a survey set up. Now with surveys, it's a little bit different. Um, you obviously don't have any any set correct answers because it is a survey. So what we did is we went ahead and just made all survey multiple choice style questions, multiple answer style answers, if that makes sense. 
I think it makes sense. Um, <laughs> we just figured it, it's it's better to have multiple correct answers because then you can engineer your survey uh, to fit how you want it to fit, whether it be multiple options for answers or, or um, if you're looking for a particular uh, single answer, uh, the option is there. So you're going to have multiple options for answers in a course survey. So in here we can just select, um, uh, let's see here, something like this, uh, and then we'll select good, and we are done with our survey. Um, and just to show you guys uh, what that looks like as far as what the responses looks like <clears throat> when you export your survey responses uh, you'll see uh, that that particular question will just simply comma separate each answer that was provided um, for that particular survey question so there it is awesome stuff guys hey wanna, i want to take a moment real quick to thank every, each and every one of, of you that participated in our survey um, it was very helpful. It was very enlightening for us. So keep your eyes open. We're gonna have we're gonna have a series of updates coming up soon. Um, we have some exciting things happening with WP Courseware, and so uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.